This is the General Baptist Bible College, located along Libre Road, Puan in Davao City, Philippines. This is not just a Bible college, as we also have a complete basic education department that runs from kindergarten to senior high school. On a regular school day, this campus is busy, lively, and full of energy. With more than 600 students, this campus is a fun place to be at. But today, since March 14, 2020, this gate has been locked. Our college students who lived in our dormitories were sent home. Classes in all levels were suspended because of the COVID-19 threat. We have been on a community quarantine. Our movement has been very limited. We are faced with a lot of uncertainty, just like any other place and country around the world. Schools are facing the unknown, especially that next school year 2020-2021 is still uncertain. We normally end each school year in April and start in June, but all these have been put on hold for now. Since the lockdown, GBBC has struggled with finances to keep up with meeting the needs for staff salaries, maintenance, and utilities. The bigger question is, Will we have students next school year? Will parents and students have enough money to pay for school fees, considering that many people lost their jobs? If we don't have students, then the domino effect is, what will we pay our faculty and staff? Will we resort to retrenchment or closure? Nobody knows the answer, only God. Before COVID-19, teaching is already hard. We spend six hours of our eight hours work time in actual teaching and two hours spent on preparation. The two hours is actually not enough, so the bulk of our preparation time is done at home. With the rise of the new normal because of COVID-19, we can no longer do that. Teaching became tremendously hard. Because with the new normal, everything has to be digitalized. That means we need to have a laptop or a computer to do our job. And most of us don't have one. One of the challenges of online learning is that we are new to teaching online. We're not familiar with the dynamics. We lack exposure and the trainings. And majority of our teachers are they don't have internet connection at home, and we also lack computers and laptop. And I guess if these things will be addressed, we can cope up with the demands of the new normal in our education system.